Good evening, folks. All right, I'm ready. This picture was taken at Sheep Creek Homestead, Macquarie Ranch by Sulphur Spring about two years ago. One evening, me and Ian McGuire, we went to Stockman Bar to grab a drink. And there was a tipsy old fellow approached us and asked, where are you from? Bozeman, I said. No, I mean, where are you from? I was like, well, maybe you want to rephrase your question then. It's like, oh, what is your mother tongue? Cambodian, with my smiley face, and he happy with that answer. I mean, do I look like I'm from Bozeman, Montana? <laughs> I saw this in front of uh, bathroom's doors. I knew what they stand it for, but still I had to make sure. <laughs> Small town is reminding me of my homeland. I love it. My name is Ray Rot, sunflowers, sometimes sunshine. I am a uh, high school and college dropout, a divorcee. I am a business owner. I own a cleaning business in Bozeman and also was a teacher. I was born and raised in Cambodia, Siem Reap, Cambodia. That's where I taught English to uh, disadvantaged kids. And I was one of them when I was young. Because of that job, I met my ex-husband and that's how I get here, Bozeman, Montana. I call myself Cambodian Montanan. <laughs> First thing I heard about Montana was snow and mountain, and it's beautiful. But I had no idea how cold does it take to get that snow, you know? <laughs> but I love it still. This is how I look and feel like when I first started my business. I had no idea how much paperwork it involves to start a business in this country. <laughs> but uh, Susie White from Women Business Center, she guided me to a better path. So I look better now, not like that. <laughs> I am really enjoying doing my business. I have this opportunity to meet new people every day. Uh, some clients, very kind, generous. They give me very, very good advice how to keep running my business. One morning while I was working in my office, I realized, oh, I am like a mother of six adults, but today I have eight. Just never know what might go wrong at the last minute. They might get six or their son might get six. Just have to be prepared every time, but I love them all. That woman in that pink dress is my mother. She is my best friend and my best teacher. She taught me all about hard work. She showed me what mother takes to well, raise me, I guess. <laughs> I know it wasn't easy, but I don't know how it, it is. So this is my uncle's daughter. Look at that innocence and serious face. After moving to US, my ex-husband was so concerned but because I don't have anything called credit history. So two years ago, I found out I owe some money. I had to pay for, pay for it, but now I have credit history. <laughs> I always, always wanted to go to university. So I went. A year and a half later, I asked my professor, how long do you think it will take me to graduate? He said, four and a half, maybe five years. I did not like that answer. <laughs> so I dropped out of school. I started my cleaning business, earn enough money, I built my mother a house. And it was one of my biggest goals in life, and it's completed it now. So now it's my turn for myself. <laughs> Before I moved to this country, I never heard or knew anything about tax. So this is how I react every time tax is an approaching. <laughs> After starting my business for a little bit, I decided to hire an accountant. And I mentioned 
I don't want to owe anything at the end of the year, and I want things to get done right. And April 2017, I got a phone call. I owe $8,000. <laughs> well, yeah, I paid. I paid for it. It's, it's just like paying rent to live in the U.S. That's how I look at it nowadays. I did pay tax, but I pay payroll tax. It's different. <laughs> so along the way, I met all these wonderful people. And this is Kate and Steve Durban. Steve is back there. They are my second family in this country. We know each other for six years. We share everything. Also, this is my other second family in the U.S., McGuire family. This picture was taken in Siem Reap, Cambodia. This is one of the temples there, Uncle Tom Temple. And yeah, they treat and love me like their children. How did I get to connect with this ranch, ranch family, McGuire family? Over two years ago, I met Ian McGuire. Two days later, he picked me up. An hour and a half later, I found myself white sulfur spring, surrounded by cows, horses. That's when it's like, oh, this guy is a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> All the experience I had gave me the opportunity to learn and to grow. And I am here today to show my appreciation to all of my friends, family, my community, my clients, that because of you all, that's why I'm still here. And also, it wasn't because of my ex-husband, I wasn't here from the first place. Thank you.